all the static on the screen. We've got to fix that. There we go. Hey, welcome to Herb and Kathy RV on YouTube. Hey, welcome back to Herb and Kathy RV on YouTube and HerbandKathyRV.com uh, on the web. Uh, this is our 2002 Airstream uh, diesel pusher motorhome. And it's been uh, a real sweet ride for us, and we're really enjoying it, uh, traveling around the country volunteering. But from time to time, we do have some issues. There are things from time to time that uh, go wrong with it. Uh, fortunately, we've not had any major issues, uh, no major engine problems or anything of that sort. Uh, but the other day, I noticed we had a problem in the bedroom. And uh, the bedroom uh, ceiling is actually uh, starting to come down a little bit, uh, the liner, the headliner up there in the ceiling. So I wanted to take care of that, and I want to share with you today uh, the process that I use to uh, resolve that issue so we can keep on having some uh, happy camping time around the country. Stay tuned. So what I want to show you is how the um, ceiling liner in the bedroom, and a little bit in the living room too, is starting to come down. It's, I, I believe the glue, the adhesive, between the uh, ceiling substrate and the vinyl is starting to let go. This rig is 17 years old. And uh, let me see if I can show you. See how much that moves? About an inch. It's just the vinyl. And I can feel... There, it stayed up. There's a little bit of stickiness to it still. And normally, uh, you don't see it when you, uh, when you walk in. It's not everywhere in the bedroom. But the other day, I... Uh, was laying on the bed just kind of taking a daytime nap and we had the air conditioning on and I noticed that the vinyl next to the air conditioner was um, was moving a little bit you see that now I push it back up with my hand and it'll stay there so what I'm going to attempt today is take this grill off and seal the around the edge of the air conditioning unit with uh, foil tape to make sure that no air is blowing in between the uh, roof substrate and, and, the, and the vinyl. And then I'm going to pop these guys off uh, one at a time, uh, pull this liner down, and I've got some spray adhesive, and we're going to put some spray adhesive in and roll it in. So stick with me. I haven't done this yet. I'm hoping it's going to work, and uh, hopefully it will be a uh, successful project uh, because we... Uh, we like our motorhome. It, it's uh, it's an oldie. It's uh, 17 years old, uh, but it is uh, serving us well. And this is just a just a minor, um, uh, not really a problem, but just kind of a minor annoyance. And it's only going to get worse. Look at that. Look at how much flex there is in in that ceiling. So we definitely need to glue that and get that back up where it belongs. Okay, so we've taken the shroud off the uh, Dometic air conditioner here in the bedroom. And uh, this side here is the, uh, the air inlet. Uh, that uh, pulls fresh air uh, in uh, from the room. And uh, here is the area with the fan that blows the air back out. And I believe what's happening is, is that the air coming out the vent or into the ductwork is also coming in um, on top of there's there's a gap in here when I get up here with the mirror I'm guessing I will see let me get a flashlight up here and maybe we can see it with the camera I'm guessing I will see a space between uh, the air conditioning unit and the uh, foam or between the foam and the plywood actually and I'm going to try to seal that with some silver um, heat duct tape. And that will uh, hopefully keep the air from blowing in there and causing this. Keep that from, from moving. And it's happening on the other side too. Uh, even... even more so on the other side. I'm going to have to get my mirror in there. I'm trying to look at it with the camera and uh, that's a little tough to see. But I think I can seal those gaps and that will solve the problem.
So what I think I want to do is take out these four bolts. Uh, one, two, three, four. And these are what uh, would be referred to as through bolts. Uh, I'll put the flashlight up there. You can see they're about uh, eight inches long. And they go through the ceiling. They hold this bottom plate up to the ceiling. And then they go through the ceiling underneath that foil tape. And this gray area right here, that's on top of the roof. Okay, so that's the, that's the roof unit up there. And it's raining right now. I don't know if you can hear the rain coming down. And what I don't want to do is I don't want to take these through bolts out and loosen up this gasket to the point that I'm allowing um, you know rain to come in. So I'm going to hold off until after it stops raining. And then I'll loosen up these bolts. I'll take this frame off. And that way I can really see what the situation is under there and what I need to do with regard to uh, sealing those gaps. So, it's time to take a break. So I took the uh, bedroom ceiling uh, light fixture down uh, to see what uh, see what I could see and see if I can get in uh, between uh, the foam and the plywood. But where it's tight, where it's been held tight, uh, it, it hasn't come un, undone, hasn't come unglued. And I hate to just you know pull it down, but in any event, uh, all that styrofoam insulation up there looks like there's about five inches. Uh, between the inside ceiling and the uh, outside roof up there. Yeah, about four or five inches, which is good. Um, but a lot of it has uh, fallen down onto the onto the bed, so I need to get the vacuum out and clean this up before I go. Okay, so now we've got the uh, seam strips uh, off. One of them is removed totally. Uh, the other one's just hanging here because I didn't want to um, it appears to be maybe glued up in that area, so I didn't want to pull that out. Uh, but uh, I've managed to um, get the headliner down without uh, destroying it, uh, both in this area and also in this area back here. So my plan is to uh, use the spray adhesive, and I'll show you that right here. Uh, 3M has a few different uh, types of spray adhesive. I bought the Super, 3M Super 77, uh, because they say that it uh, is for uh, foil, foam, paper, metal, plastic, and fabric. Uh, the one that was even stronger is for uh, Formica and stone and metal, and I was worried that that adhesive might bleed through the headliner. So I bought this, and hopefully uh, this will not only do the job, but it won't uh, bleed through. Then we also got a, a small roller. Um, this was in the uh, wallpaper uh, department of the hardware store. And uh, I'll roll the um, headliner once it's, uh, once it's glued. Uh, it was about, I don't know, 4 or $5 at uh, Ace Hardware. And uh, then I had to buy a rubber mallet. I don't uh, keep a rubber mallet in the coach. I uh, bought a rubber mallet, and we'll use that uh, to pound the, the strip back up into the groove uh, that it goes into. Uh, here's an end shot of the groove. You can see where it snaps in. Okay. So, the next step is to uh, pull this headliner down a little bit more, and then spray the adhesive. And the adhesive is supposed to set for anywhere from uh, 30 seconds to 15 minutes uh, before pushing it back on and, and rolling it up. Wish me luck. Okay, so the uh, project is finished. We're ready to button things back up, but I wanted to show you what we've done inside. That green box there, that's the ductwork. Uh, this is the uh, the uh, fan, the squirrel cage fan, that blows the air down into the room. 
either through this grill or uh, it blows it up into the uh, into the ductwork and there's ductwork on both sides if I turn it around here I'm holding the flashlight so you can see and what I've done is I've used foil tape and uh, put foil tape on the uh, outside or bottom edge of the uh, ceiling vinyl and then wrapped it around uh, the wood plywood uh, substrate and over and into the uh, ductwork and everything inside uh, is uh, is sealed with uh, foil tape as well all around the perimeter I took foil tape and uh, taped it to the ceiling uh, the vinyl and then wrapped it rolled it uh, up over the uh, plywood base uh, to seal everything off in some cases uh, I used uh, spray foam there were some cavities here that were open and so we were drawing uh, uh, air in where we shouldn't have been so I sealed that off with spray foam so we're all ready to put this all back together and uh, button it up and we should be good for another 15 to 20 years Well, the project is done. Did finally uh, finally get it finished. Uh, had uh, a little difficulty in getting the spray uh, in where I wanted it, but uh, and we did have to put up uh, some newspaper to act as um, uh, what am I trying to say uh, <laughs> to protect the paint and so on because that spray kind of goes everywhere. And uh, then I wanted to re-insulate this and everything up above, put in new um, sponge, uh, kind of like uh, caulk material along here to seal that and uh, got that attached a lot better than it was. And I also put, uh, of course, foil tape in. I showed you that. I think we'll be, uh, I think we'll be in good shape for a while. Thanks for watching. So you've just watched another one of our uh, how-to videos, and uh, we invite you to uh, punch the little like button down below, and also to, what is that sound? <laughs> I can't figure out what that sound is. Uh, and also to subscribe down in the lower right corner of the video. Uh, there's a little uh, Herb and Kathy RV logo, and you can click on that and subscribe, so that uh, any time in the future <clears throat> that we publish a video, uh, you'll get an email notification of it. Uh, thanks for watching. We appreciate you riding along with us, and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you on down the road. Take care. So long for now.